everybody. Good morning. Um, so I'm going to bring Brian Hook uh, to the podium here to give a statement, and then he's going to take your questions. Um, that's all we're going to do today. It's going to be very focused uh, on Iran. And welcome back. Happy post Labor Day. Great to see all of you. Brian. Thank you, Morgan. Uh, today, the United States government is intensifying our maximum pressure campaign against the Islamic Republic of Iran. First, we are announcing a reward of up to $15 million for any person who helps us disrupt the financial operations of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps and Quds Force. This offer is being made through the State Department's Rewards for Justice program. This program gives individuals an incentive uh, to, uh, to work with the United States to bring terrorists uh, to justice uh, and to prevent acts of terrorism globally. Rewards for Justice has paid more than $150 million to over 100 people in return for information that either prevented acts of terrorism or brought people to justice. And the program's motto is, Stop a Terrorist, Save Lives. Today's announcement is historic. It's the first time that the United States has offered a reward for information that disrupts a government entity's financial operations. We have taken this step because the IRGC operates more like a terrorist organization than it does a government. Uh, the IRGC and the Quds Force were designated as a foreign terrorist organization in April. And this put them in the same category as many of the terrorist groups that they actively support, such as Hezbollah and Hamas. The IRGC trains, funds, and equips proxy organizations across the Middle East. Iran wants these groups to extend the borders of the regime's revolution and sow chaos and sectarian violence. We are using every available diplomatic and economic tool to disrupt these operations. In addition to announcing uh, individual rewards of up to $15 million against the IRGC and the Quds Force, the United States today is also taking sweeping action against an IRGC QF oil for terror network. The IRGC has been running an illicit petroleum shipping network over the last several months. This network has moved hundreds of millions of dollars worth of illicit oil. That money is then used to fund terrorism. In recent months, the shipping network used more than a dozen tankers to export nearly 10 million barrels of crude oil, largely to Syria to support Assad. These shipments sold for more than half a billion dollars. The Department of the Treasury today designated more than 25 entities and individuals and 11 vessels involved in this shipping network. The names of these entities and vessels are now listed on Treasury's website. Those who engage in transactions with these entities, individuals, and vessels uh, are now exposed to U.S. sanctions. Secretary Pompeo has said many times that we will sanction any sanctionable activity, and taking down this shipping network is another example of delivering on that commitment. The actions today follow the recent sanctioning of Chinese firm Zhuhai Zhenrong and its chief executive for importing Iranian oil. The maritime community should be aware that the Quds Force uses deceptive practices to move its illicit cargo. It cloaks the origin of its oil. It falsifies documents. And it hides the location of its vessels by turning off transponders which violates international maritime law and is a threat to safety on the high seas. Vessels tied to the shipping network have tried to pass Iranian oil off as Iraqi oil. Countless Iranian vessels have gone dark just before delivering illicit cargo to places like Syria and to China. Deception is at the heart of the Quds Force shipping network. 
Every port operator, ship owner, and management company should steer clear of the targets identified today. The economic and the reputational costs that result from U.S. sanctions are not worth the modest gains of doing business with Iran. The reward I announced earlier gives members of the maritime community a new tool to help us combat Iran's oil for terror network. We urge any person with information that leads to the disruption of Iran's petroleum shipping network to contact us. You can submit a tip by visiting rewardsforjustice.net. This includes information that leads to disrupting vessels like the Adrian Daria, uh, which was formerly known as the Grace One. This vessel was released by Gibraltar based on guarantees provided by the Iranian government that it would not deliver its oil to Syria, which is exactly where it appears to be headed now. Last Friday, the United States government sanctioned the captain of the Adrian Daria for providing material support to a terrorist organization. The criminal liability and immigration consequences of crewing Iranian tankers are real and not worth the risk. It's important that we not lose sight of the big picture. Sanctions on Iran are designed to deny the regime revenue to fund its foreign operations and to bring it back to the negotiating table to reach a new and comprehensive deal.